I'm back to give you guys a reading for my beautiful Pisces. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. Okay, so we have first card out is let go control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So somebody could have um, been very cold defended. Mm-hmm. This person, you know, very cold defended, very clingy. Somebody could have been trying to control you, Sunsteed. And you could have felt like someone was very deceptive as well. <clears throat> because why you got to be so controlling? Like, why? I mean, you know, if you have nothing to hide or, you know, if everything's okay, why you got to be, why you got to be in control? Yeah, it's safe for you to love. Like, yeah. You know? Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be any deception. It's just like, what's the issue? You know, why do you have to control? Why do you have to feel like you have to control someone? It is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love. Don't mean because it's safe for you to love and love someone. That don't mean you control them. No, that's not how it works. Let's see. Give me one whole spirit. Yeah, somebody could have been trying to control you. And there was no need for that. So we had three cards out, but I'm gonna put it back in. I only need one. Let me see. One more. Somebody could be getting support from their friends or your family to help them with this situation. Somebody definitely wants to express their love for you. They want you to give them um a chance. I was about to say another chance. So somebody wants you to give them another chance. Yeah, let your friends help you. So this person could definitely be asking, you know, um getting support from others. When it comes in regards to this relationship, maybe somebody is like at the end of their road. They don't know what else to do, you know? Yeah. Because whoever was trying to control this um, this connection, it's like it backfired, you know? You thought it's going to definitely put your energy back from this person. Yeah, somebody is like somebody at the end of their road. They don't know what to do, so they ask them for support from others, or they seeking support from others. What's this let go of control issues? What's this let go of control issues? Thank you. Yeah, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Somebody feels like you guys have a great time together. Somebody loves your energy. Somebody loves your vibe. Mm. Somebody could have been um, at a barbecue in a pool, hanging out at the pool. Yeah. And somebody was asking, somebody was, um, somebody is asking these friends or these family members for advice on this connection. Yeah, this is somebody who's ready to let go of control issues. This is somebody who doesn't want to control um, the situation, you know, control you or the situation in this relationship. This is somebody who wants to be open with this, give your relationship a chance. This is somebody who wants to work on things with you. But this is somebody who doesn't know how to go about it. Because I'm looking at this, give your relationship a chance. If you look at this man, he's just like, he's looking at her. But the woman, she has her face to the side. Like, I don't know what they did to you. But whoever this person is that's into you, it's just like somebody, is, they don't want to give up. They don't want to give up. But she's looking like with her eyes closed, like she's looking like she's fed up. Maybe somebody was trying to control, um, you know, um, how this relationship was going or was going to go, you know? Instead of just letting it happen naturally, like whatever, like just thank you, spirit, just going along with the flow. Like whatever happens, happens, you know? Yeah. There's somebody who likes to be in control, but this this is a connection that spirit is saying, just let allow it, I just heard, allow it to grow naturally. You know, just go with the flow. Somebody could be very controlling, very demanding. And you could have just got fed up with that. But this person is, this, whoever this guy is, you know, the way how he's looking at this woman is just like, he's not ready to give up. And whoever you are, with the way how, you know, the woman hugging this man, it's like, you still have love for this person. You do, you do love this person. You know, you just, you just tired of these shenanigans. 
It's not like you don't love this person. It's just like you do, but you just tired of their shenanigans, Rusty. That's what you say. <laughs> and he looking at her like, babe, I know you tired. You know, I, I, I know, I know. Like, I apologize. <laughs> What does it say for you to love? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. What's this Holy Spirit? It's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to love. Yeah. <laughs> this is somebody who you share past life relationship with. Yeah. You have known each other before. Yeah. Somebody... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know, somebody wants you to be open now that they're ready to give, um, you know, give you the love that you deserve. Um, be open to this connection. Um, letting their guard down. Um, not being so controlling. Um, if they had codependency issues, um, you know, like, you know, releasing them control issues. And, and the codependency could be, you know, uh, it could be a person, place, or a thing. Whatever somebody was giving the attention to, it's like now somebody's saying, you know, I got all eyes on you now. Um, you know, I'm, I'm focused just on you. Because this man is focused on this woman, but her, like I said, her head is turned. But she still got her arm wrapped around him. It's like the love is still here. Just, just like I'm tired of your shenanigans, you know? So like I said, with the codependency, if somebody did have any um, codependency issues, uh, they, it's like nobody, somebody is no longer um, giving that atten the attention. Somebody also could be getting help for whatever this cold dependency issue is. So maybe it could have been an addiction. Um, yeah, let your friends help you with the cold dependency. Somebody could have like a, uh, maybe somebody in like a rehab or something. Because I said somebody is getting help for whatever this cold dependency issue is. And it could be the support from these friends that's helping them. Or they could just be getting help from um, a group that's helping them. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so it's safe for you to love. It's clear if I would pass like relationship. So Spirit is saying you already know this person. <clears throat> I feel like um, this person gave you unrequited love before. <clears throat> You could have felt like it was just all about passion. Oh, this kind of this kind of person could have been seeing you. Um, you know, to be honest with you, somebody could have been, you know, looking at you as just as like a uh, passion, you know, someone they can have fun with, hang out with, you know, you know, have fun, passion. But now this is somebody who's looking at like wedding, marriage, expressing their love, heart to heart conversation, you know. Express your love, worth waiting for, wedding, free yourself, trust. Like, this is somebody who, who you freed yourself from who wants your trust again. You know, this is somebody who wants to come in and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. If this person wasn't ready for something before, they sure as hell ready now. Mm -hmm. That's why they want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It's like somebody, um, something changed with this person. And I feel like whatever help that they get in, for whatever code dependency issues that they had, uh, you know, let's see, before I, I, you know, you know, I'm big on giving people the benefit of the doubt, so you pull me wrong, but I was going to say it looked like it's helping, but let's see something. What's this, uh, let your friend, yeah, let your friend help you. Let your friend help you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Finances in Korea. Mm. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this person could be uh, going through some some issues when it comes to the finances and careers. They could be telling that you know these people like you know, I know how I feel about you know mystic uh, mystic self allowable collective senses. I know I want this. I know you know I'm ready to settle down. I know this person is you know they worth it. You know they deserve this. But somebody is saying like you know. Either I'm juggling with jobs or either I'm not working right now or either I'm not, you know, I don't have a, I don't have much right now, you know. Um, yeah, it's something about this person's money and their career, you know, that can have them like in a limbo right now. Um, for some of you guys, you could have felt like this person gave you unrequited love um, because, you know, they didn't care about you or they didn't love you. Or there wasn't enough, you know, attraction or chemistry in this connection to keep going. 
but I feel like it was just somebody, you know, they they could have been stressed out or, you know, um, going through it. I heard the press going through it because, you know, their finances and their career. Yeah, codependency. Maybe this person, you know, maybe they got friends that's helping them, you know, um, probably pay bills, lend them money, you know. They want to make the effort. Yeah, honeymoon. There's somebody who wants to make the um, effort. Um, they want to spend time with you. They want to do nice things with you. But, yeah, engagement and love yourself first. Calling your soulmate. It's just that this person, it's like, they want to make the effort, but it's like somebody is definitely going through some challenging times right now when it comes to their finances. <clears throat> Yeah, make the effort came back out. Great love is worth taking the the steps you got it to take. You know, um, with this heart to heart conversation, I just feel like somebody's gonna reach out to you and let you know, you know, the whole truth of what they're going through. You know, um, yeah, and, and with hopes, you know, that can change, you know, the situation between you and them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody want to let you know exactly what's going on. You know, they want to make the effort. They want to be here. But because of their current situation, they could be feeling like, you know, they don't have nothing to offer you at this time, you know, but their love. For some of you guys, this person could have pulled away from you because they was hot in that part. You know, they didn't want you to know that. For others, you guys, you could have pulled away from this person because you felt like this person was, was giving you unrequited love. They wasn't letting you in. But somebody was just going you know life was just life on them you know and then study you know um trusting in you you know understanding that you know you got their back you got the you know you want to you know um they got your support it's just like maybe you someone who's doing well off with yourself you know you do very good for yourself and somebody was trying to control you yeah mm, let's see let's just see What's this lack of control issues, Holy Spirit? Lack of control issues? Yeah, no and yes. Ooh. What's this lack of control issues? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Lack of control issues. Yeah, helpful people. Yeah, I feel like you was definitely a big help for this person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, helpful people. I feel like you you definitely was very helpful helpful to this person. You could have definitely helped this person. Maybe you knew about this person's situation. You was helping them try to get on their feet. You know, you was definitely helpful to them. Yeah, let go. But once you see that somebody was like trying to control you, take advantage of you, it's like you helping this person. It's like you giving and giving and giving and giving to this person. But yet, they not giving you what you deserve, you know? They give you unrequited love. They put in people, places, and things before you. Um, it's basically like somebody felt like you, you know, you was, you know, you obedient. You know, when they ready to make the effort, you, you know, you obedient. You'll be, you'll be waiting. No, and that's why you decided to let go. I'm hearing whoever this person is. You haven't spoke to this person in a minute. Mm. Yeah, you decided to let go. Mm -mm. You was helping this person, but it's just like so it, it, this person was ungrateful. They was ungrateful. They wanted more and more and more and more and more. Past life relationship with yes and reverse. With the yes and reverse. So some of you guys take action with yes and reverse. It's up to you. So some of you guys, you might be deciding that you don't want to go back to this connection. The Spirit is saying it's up to you. It's up to you. And Spirit is saying there's something better. Success. Mm. It's giving like... It's giving like somebody is having, you know, being granted with like, you know, you could even, you know, you could choose love or you, you know, this can be, you know, you could choose, you know, um, success, you know, your business, your, you know, it's 
some of you guys, you know, it's it's gonna be different for you guys, you know. Some of you guys with the yes and the verse, some of you guys, the spirit said it's up to you with the yes and the verse, y'all yes, saying no. Yeah, big happy changes, yeah. Spirit is saying you got big happy changes, big happy changes, and yes, we have we're, we're in recovery and proven health. Yeah, some of you guys are recovering from this. Maybe this was like, a, it, it, you know, maybe the situation was weighing you down. Yeah, you, you remain positive in romance. Somebody is hoping that you still, you know, remain, you know, somebody is hoping that you remain positive about this connection and just allow them, you know, to show you something different this time. Like I said, whoever you are, you still got love for this person, you know? Now that they're now that they're ready, it's like you like I'm just fed up with the shenanigans. What's this give your relationship a chance? So some of you guys, you know, you might be saying yes, you might be saying no. Give your relationship a chance. Give your relationship a chance. Give your relationship a chance. Holy Spirit, action angels. I'm getting extra angels, okay? You could be asking, ex Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, you know? Give your relationship a chance. Big happy changes, look for a sign. Yeah. Some of you guys, this relationship was so much that you even had to pray your way out of it. You had to pray your way out of it. You had to ask Archangel Raphael to heal you. Um, Archangel Michael, you know, to protect you, you know. Um, I feel like if you know, if you meditate, meditation will bring the answers, the answers that you need. Yeah, we got weight. What's this? Action angels, action angels. Yes. Listen to your intuition. Take action a year from now. So that your ear, um, they could be telling you that, um, you know, to wait, something will be better in a year from now. You know, they could be telling you, don't, you know, don't take this person back right away. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. What's this a year from now? What's this a year from now? Thank you. Yeah, reconsider. I also feel like for some of you guys, you've been in separation with this person for almost a year now. Okay? And somebody could be re re reconsidering, you know, their actions and their motives. Um, like, you know... This person was, you know, helping me, you know, um, you know, through a challenging time, you know. Was it right for me to do that person like that? Was it right for me to, you know, get an unrequited love? It's like somebody is reconsidering all the stuff that they have done to you. Yeah. Some of you guys, because I heard earlier you haven't spoken to this person in a while. It could be, you know, a year. But some of you guys, this person wants to take action. But for others of you guys, your angel is just saying, no, wait, the time is not quite right. This person needs to heal more. Listen to your intuition. I feel like if you meditate, it will bring you answers. What's this? It's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to love. Yeah, within the next few weeks. So something is happening and within the next few weeks. That's what I'm saying. With this card, intuitively, I just picked up that some of you guys just been in separation for a year. But Spirit is saying something is going to change within the next few weeks. What's this yes in reverse? Past life relationship, yes in reverse. Yeah, improving health. I feel like somebody is getting better. Because I don't know why I heard earlier. Well, obviously Spirit when I'm eight. Somebody could have had addiction. For some of you guys, you could be aware of this addiction. For others of you guys, this person could have hid it from you. But I heard like a rehab or something. So maybe this person is definitely um, detoxing something like, you know, 
whatever that 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 was for them. Somebody is getting help. They're improving their health. Their health. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. Don't stop. The situation will improve. Opportunity. There's somebody who they ain't giving up on you though. They are very hopeful that they can improve the situation with you. Um, but they, this is somebody who knows that they need to get help. This is somebody who knows that they got control issues. This is somebody who knows that how they treat people is not right. How they treat you is not right. I say how they treat people. So you ain't even just the only one that they treated like this. This is somebody who had a problem. They they treated a lot of people like this who tried to help them. What's this? Let your friends help you. Yeah, be assertive. Mm, I'll give me more. Be assertive. No need to worry. Not the right time. Ask for help. Yeah, somebody get help. Mm hmm. Somebody get help. Spirit is saying it's up to you, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys could be focused on um, career, your job, your success. <clears throat> Some of you guys are, uh, are just starting a business, getting the business off the ground, off the ground. Maybe that's where your you know your focus is at. Um, maybe you um, guys have just picked up like a new um, project or, or endeavor you guys are working on. Spirit is saying, you know, you know, do you? Yeah, six of wands to the lovers. Do you, you know? Because with the will of fortune being here, something is something is changing, okay? Something is fated to change anyway. You could have felt, um, yeah, Knight of Pentacles with the High Priestess. You could have felt the lady dealing with this energy, okay? Um, maybe you felt like, you, you know, um, maybe you was ignoring your intuition because you kept trying to help this person. <clears throat> yeah, Knight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Somebody is getting help. Yeah, it's like they take an action. They could be, like, I say, like a rehab, or this could be, like, counseling. Uh, whoever this group is that's helping this person, um... I feel like this person is taking action with the Three of Pentacles. They take an action. Um, take an action with the Three of Pentacles to get the help that they need. You know, whoever these people that they're working with. And I, a year from now, somebody could be in a program for like a year or something. Uh, I don't know. But with this take action and, yeah. It might take somebody a year to re recover. I don't know how bad somebody's situation was. Yeah. We have Empress, Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands. I just feel like Spirit is saying, you know, just wait right now because you, 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 um, not to trust this energy right now. What's this let go of control issues? Let go of control issues. Nine of Swords. What is this Nine of Swords? Nine of Swords, Five of Cups. This person is a regret. They worry. Yeah. Not a source they, they worried, um, you know, possibly having anxiety. Uh, maybe they feel like um, they missed out on an opportunity with you with the nine of cups. Maybe they feel like they missed out on their wish. The justice card. Yeah. Eight of cups. Somebody, maybe you walked away from this energy. Uh, somebody could be feeling like this is their karma. You know, because with the, like I said, with this lady, it's like she's still hugging this person, like she still got love for them, but she just tired of these shenanigans. Like, and somebody could be feeling like this, their karma, you know. And with the four swords being here, the seven of pentacles, somebody could be looking at it like it's time, you know. I think it's time for me to get this help. It's time for me to heal, you know, because I keep hurting, you know, I keep hurting people that I love, you know, you know, I hurt damaging people that I love that's close to me. Yeah, somebody could be feeling like this they karma with the justice card being here. Yeah, the nine of swords, five cups, somebody feels like they regret, you know, it's a lot of sorrow, you know, because they feel like they missed out on their wish fulfillment. Eight of cups, some of you guys did walk away from this person. 
the moon card. Mm, King of Pentacles. Can I have a card on the Eight of Cups, Holy Spirit? The Eight of Cups. Ten of Cups. Want to come out? Somebody feel like you're going to be happy. Like, they feel like you're going to be happy without them. What's the Eight of Cups? Yeah, I'm hearing like this person, something about heavy delays. Yeah, the Eight of Cups is clarified with the High Priest. Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you listen to your intuition and you walked away. Because I, I heard the way this person was abusing you, you didn't deserve that. Yeah, you had to listen to your intuition. Yeah, and that could be what this improving health is. Like, you know, I, whoever this person that was abusing you, uh, like it could be mentally, spiritually, physically. I hope it was not physically. Um, you had to get better. You had to get... It's like somebody who, who, somebody who was hurting, it's like they wanted you to feel that hurt too. You, oh shit, four wands and a six of cups. Whoever this person is that wants to reconcile with you, that wants this relationship with you, they're definitely stressed out, having anxiety because they feel like they missed out on their damn wish. What's the justice card? The justice, the justice card, Holy Spirit, the justice. The justice is clarified with the queen of wands, the sun card, the shrimp. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Libra. Or you can have these heavy placements in your chart, Pisces energy. But with the two of wands and the lovers, yeah, I feel like um, you took action and chose, you know, to go another direction. Yeah, you made a choice when it came to this connection. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you know, um, you chose you at this time. For others of you guys, this person... Is choosing you. The love is to the two of wands. This person is planning on coming back. This person, the two of wands, about taking action and planning. This person is definitely they choose you. They definitely choose you. Yeah, the tower to the six of swords. You are gonna be shocked as hell. <laughs> okay. Um. Somebody could be popping up at somebody's house because I'm looking at this card the way how I got on the love. It's like pop. He pop. Might be popping up on you, popping up on you out of nowhere. Um, for others of you guys, with the six of swords and the tower, well, somebody is shocked as heck that you moved on, that you, you moved away, that you got, you know, you moved away, you left. Somebody would never thought you would have left. Mm hmm. Page of swords and they watch you. Yeah. They watch you. What's the tower? Yeah, it's like somebody want to pop up on you. Look at the towel. The towel is clarified with the six of cups. Somebody is reminiscing about you, how you know, thinking about you, how things were in the past. Yeah, Empress. Four more to the Empress. This can be um a twin flame connection with the four wands and empress being here. But somebody reminiscing um Pisces energy out here. Somebody reminiscing Gemini energy. Um Empress, um Tor, you could be a Taurus or a Libra. But somebody reminiscing about the past, how things was in the past. I also heard somebody um, earlier, somebody reminiscing about, like, somebody missed having fun with you. Some of you guys, you you, you guys was like two big kids. Y'all had a lot of fun together, you know, despite, the, uh, you know, the other stuff that y'all did go through. <clears throat> Something is coming back around. Something is not over. I'm just I'm just here to tell you that right now. Something is not over. It's not over between me. <laughs> so see, yeah, look up to the bottom. It's not over between yeah. Emperor, eight of pentacles, page one. <laughs> it's not over between I forgot who sings that song. Dang. I forgot who sang that song. Yeah, this is somebody. Definitely somebody's twin page of wands. This person is going to reach out and message you. Mm -mm. Somebody could have had to, um, had to make a choice between a karmic and a actually divine counterpart. Somebody could have definitely moved away from 
a karmic, okay, that was codependent on their energy, a karmic that had control issues that was codependent. Somebody could have been crazy as hell. Somebody was like, nah, let me get up out of here. You know? Somebody is coming to be with, somebody about to be with, it's like a twin flame connection is coming, it's about to reunite. Yeah, two of pentacles. Somebody could have definitely been juggling you. King of pentacles, the chariot. Yes. Whoever this king of pentacles is that's coming towards you. Okay. Yeah, ace of pentacles, the high friend. I can't make it up. Somebody about to get married. Somebody about to get married. Now, I'm a, I'm a, I'm cuz I'm getting two scenarios here, so I'm just going, you know, let you guys know. Somebody, um, there's two energies here. But this love is looking at me. It's two energies. Somebody is leaving a karmic situation behind and they're going to their divine counterpart. Yup. Somebody could have realized that somebody was only with them for their finances or, or whatever career they got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the King of Pentacles is someone who's very stable. King of Pentacles to the chariot. Somebody could have been realizing that somebody was only with them for their money. Mm-hmm. Somebody leaving a karmic behind. Somebody about to pop up at somebody's house. Page of Cups. Yeah. They want to apologize. Somebody like, I, I apologize. <laughs> That's all funny. Page of Cups to the Ten of Cups, so see. This person feel like you make them happy. Six of Wands, that's the yes. The Fool card, they ready to take a leap of faith. Yep. Aries. Yeah, somebody is definitely about to make some like, romantic gesture towards you. Um, somebody sees you as fun, innocent, lighthearted, um, very sweet. Yeah. You got Taurus and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Give me a card on a full card. The full card is the Magician and Three of Wands. Somebody is, yeah. <laughs> this person is manifesting you in their future. This person wants you, you know. The food card was clarified with the magician three of wands, nothing but manifesting. Yeah. It's like somebody manifested whatever this is between you and them, and now they're getting ready to take action. They're gonna get they're ready to take action. They're gonna take action after what they manifested. Queen of Cups. Yeah. Somebody in love with you. Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Star card. Nice. Somebody in love with you. Mm-hmm. They in love with you. They you are every you I just heard you are every man's wish. <clears throat> I wasn't gonna say that. I just heard you are every man's wish. So this person is in love with you. This person, um, they see you as they wish. Spirit just said, look at Hermit. Spirit just said you're every man's wish. Wow. So, you know. You guys, it's up to you. Um, Ace of Cups and the Star Card, I do see you guys. Um, it's new love here as well. Um, but somebody coming back to get you. The Hermit, Four of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, whoever this person that was slowed or, um, you know, was delayed, you know, slowed to come in to give you an offer. Four of Pentacles, they ain't never let you go. Mm -hmm. They ain't never let you go. Oh, how do you want this reading is? Oh, some seeds. <laughs> yeah, they want your forgiveness. This person wants your forgiveness. Um, Stop focusing your energy on past events, but life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So whoever this person is that wants your forgiveness, when they come back, this is somebody who don't even want to talk about the past. They don't want to talk about what they did. They don't want to. They, somebody's like, how little? Manifest a miracle. Somebody's like, how can we move past this? This is magician to the three of wands with the food card. Somebody like, how can we move past this? Okay? Somebody manifested this. Somebody like, they don't want to talk about nothing in the past. It's like, how can we, you know, shift our focus and talk about what we, you know, what we're going to do right now? 
manifested miracles. Um, your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to flow its guidance. Somebody is manifesting everything that the heart desires. With this Ace of Cups to the star, wow. Wow. That is chosen. That is anointed. That is like, who, who, who? That is favor all over you. Mm. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Yeah, so whoever this person is, maybe um, with this criticizing one another, that ain't going to lead to nothing but unhappiness. So whoever you, who, okay, so you and your personal spirit is saying, you know, start fresh. Leave the past to the past. If you want to forgive this person, forgive this person. You can't halfway forgive somebody. There is no such thing. You can't say, I forgive you, and every chance you get, you bring it up the past. No, if I forgive you, that means that the past is behind us. Can I ever forget the past? No. Hell no. But I actually, I can move forward and focus on the future, not focus on what's behind me, you know? Yeah. And to be honest with you, somebody don't even want to hear that. So, <laughs> so somebody going to be doing that, they don't even want to hear that, right? I don't want to hear that. Holy Spirit. Okay, freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. There's nothing stopping you. Spirit is saying the path is um the path is clear. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Somebody called in their soulmate. A high level soulmate, but others of you guys is a twin. Yeah. Something about July 4th. I don't know what happened on July 4th. What was what day was July 4th? Thursday? Last Thursday? Yeah, something happened on July 4th. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. But some of you guys, you're choosing new love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some of you guys, you might not even be choosing. You might choose to um, let this twin flame, you know, decide to not go with the twin your twin flame and, and you know, choose a, um, a soulmate. You know, it's going to be different for some of you guys. Somebody, I just heard, somebody could be from Texas. Somebody could be from Jamaica. Um, you know what's right for you. And, okay. Um, you know what's right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So spirit is saying you have the power. You know what is right for you. You have the the power to um to say no or walk away at any time. Mm. Somebody here is getting married, and the person that they're marrying is their best friend. <clears throat> Passion. Yeah, I just heard it. Somebody is on um, marrying their best friend. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transform all things. For some of you guys, this person is coming back a whole nother version of themselves. Yeah. I just heard somebody is about to marry their best friend. Congratulations. I even heard earlier somebody could have went into like a wedding reception or something like that. Or maybe somebody's planning that. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You could allow, I'm sorry. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So spirit is saying... You know, tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You deserve to feel that way. You know, um, spirits say allow joy in your life, you know, regardless of whatever your current circumstances is. Yeah, romance, Cupid's arrow strike. It's like somebody is meeting someone or coming in connection with someone that they're about to have a lot of fun with. Mm-hmm. A lot of fun with. But some of you guys, you grew up with this person? Yeah. 
somebody could have been like in relationships with people that it was just like people just was taken from them. They would just give it, but they weren't getting anything back. This connection is equal. Something's gonna be equal. Yeah. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what you feel is right. Some whoever this person is, they <clears throat> whoever helping this person, like this is somebody who's honest, who gives like they give it to this person more. Like whoever they get support from, they telling this person like they keep it real with this person, you know. So some of you guys, this is somebody's father. Or this is somebody who they see as like a father figure. Yep. Well, Sunseeds, I hope this reading was able to help you guys, give you guys clarity on your situation. I love you guys so very much. Somebody about to pop up on y'all, all right? Let's get you guys some initials. Somebody about to pop up. Let's see. So we have DD. Wow. So we have DD, P, and S. Okay. So somebody, we got two D's out here, the P and the S. Give me more Holy Spirit. D, S, and D, and P. We have Z and K. Ooh. We got L and E. You know what? I'm not about to play with y'all. <laughs> I'm not about to play with y'all. Not today. We got an M. I'm not about to play with y'all. I'm not about to play with you. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I'm getting. Ain't no way somebody could, like I said, somebody could be leaving stuff. Somebody could be choosing to move forward. Okay, somebody could be finding out somebody is on a, you know? Okay, I'm not about to play with y'all. Give me one Holy Spirit. Um, somebody in this you could be a B or F. Give me one Holy Spirit. Of P. Somebody can work the structure. We have N and A. Give me more Holy Spirit. Z and C. We got two Z's out here, two D's out here. Z, C, Z, K, D, P, D, S, B, F. Trying to see if it, I could spell anything. Nope. Only thing that I could see is this. Mm. Yeah. I love you guys so very much. Uh, yeah. And we have K and O and S and N. Okay. I feel like whoever you're going into union with is definitely your divine counterpart. Um, somebody could definitely be releasing um, someone who they may have thought was a person, um, may have thought that um, they was going to be with them. Somebody realizing that was the wrong person. Yeah, they realized that was the wrong person. Somebody know who you are to them. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, it could be you or your person, but somebody was trying to hold on to you guys. They didn't want to release you guys. Yeah. But whoever you are, this Twin Flame connection is definitely happening. For others of you guys, you're deciding to, um, you know, choose new love. But I just feel heavy, heavy on a, um, a Twin Flame union that's about to come in. I love you guys so very much, Sunsteeds, until we get up next time. I um I also hear it um uh, it was fear that was holding someone back from this connection. Spirit was it fear? because I, I definitely heard you had four wands to the emperor, to the strength, to the empress. Yeah, I heard it was fear that was holding somebody back. Was it fear? Yeah, I can't make it up.
It was fear. It was fear that was holding somebody back. Mm. And it caused some type of ending. Ooh. Yeah, somebody's obsessing over you. The Knight of Pentacles and the Sun card. Yeah, that's what it was. It was Knight of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Sun. Capricorn, Leo, energy. It's like uh, fear was delaying something from somebody. Justice, Three of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like somebody wanted to have someone afraid. Or they would they, this somebody who wanted to keep a hold on somebody to delay them from their happiness. But I don't feel like this this energy could have at all. Because fear is not real. Fear is an illusion. It was the only thing they could have done was sabotage their own damn selves. Yeah. It's like somebody is confronting their fears and they going after what they want, period. 